Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger, and this video is all about the 71 Fair Lady. Let's go! Alright, so if you've never seen one of my wrong build videos before, usually I will test all of the engines before filming, and then we'll go through all four of the builds that I'm about to show you. We have a track build, an off-road build, a drift build, and a drag build. So we'll go through each one, and then I'll show you the build card for each one. Alright, so starting off with the track build, let's take a look at the engine first, and then I'll move on to the parts that I'm using. So. The engine that's best for this car is the 282 horsepower 3.6 liter flat 6. This thing runs an insane time on Arian. I'm not kidding, this is like the poor man's RSR. This car is crazy, crazy fast and I was not expecting it at all. It's not fast enough to reach the top 5, but it sits comfortably right outside that. I would put it in the top 10 for sure in terms of its speed but we're gonna see the rankings later on in the video. So let's get on with the rest of the track build. So you've got the Ultimate Plus engine parts, the Ultimate Dual Turbo, and the Ultimate five by three pound NOS. After that, I'm running a track suspension, Pro Brakes, and I'll get back to that in a second as to why I use Pro Brakes, the Elite Race Tires, the Elite Plus Clutch, Elite Plus eight speed gearbox, and super track differential. Now back to the brakes for just a second. This car turns and handles just like the RSR, meaning if you have too strong of brakes, you can actually over brake going into a turn. So when you initiate a drift mechanic into a turn and you tap the left trigger for your brakes, it will actually increase your turning angle while you're in the turn. But if you over brake, you will over increase your turning angle, which means you're gonna be taking the turn a lot slower than you need to. So I recommend pro brakes or even sport brakes if you know how to handle the car. I would definitely not recommend the super or the elite brakes for this car. It just is too much. This car does not need those brakes. So pro brakes it is. So the one thing I haven't done with this car is taken it out to Sonic and tested it on that racetrack. I'm curious how this car handles in the top speed and Sonic tests that a little bit better than Arian. So let's take it out and see how it does. All right, here we go. Sonic test number one. It's a little bit of a slow start. It spins wheels really hard uh, from a stop. It picks up speed really, really nicely though. Very nice. Feels really good on this on that first turn. Top speed is great. I think we're gonna have a really nice time for this one. As long as I can actually drive good. We'll see. All right, that wasn't my best, but it's gonna do. Man, it really does well getting to top speed fast. I'm telling you, man, this thing is, this is like a like that poor man's RSR for sure. Oh, horrible shortcut. We're gonna keep it. We're just gonna see what this time ends up being. Oh, it bounced on the jump. Bounce on the jump. Well, let's try this again. Here we go, test number two. Like I said, man, slow start for this car. Let's see if we can take these corners here a little cleaner. That was a little better. 
Didn't mean to slide that too much. But it works. Alright, I think that could have been better, but... We're leaving it. Alright, fingers crossed on the shortcut here. Hey, we did it. We did it! There we go. Just got to be ready for that little bounce. Doesn't have quite the turning radius of the RSR. I think the RSR handles just a little bit better. But it does really, really well. I'm very surprised with this car. This might be my new recommendation for an RSR alt. Let's see what this time ends up being. 237, let's go. Hey, if you can get in the 230s, man, with the with a car like this, that's nice. 237 is a good time. All right, let's get it back to the garage and let's see how it does in a drag build. All right, so to make a drag build for this car, there's only a few changes you need to make. Once you know the engine for the track build and you know the setup for the drivetrain, it's pretty easy. So you're gonna wanna change the NOS to a one by 15. And then you're gonna wanna change the tires to drag tires. And then the last step is really just to find the right gearbox. You need to find the gearbox that offers the best quarter mile time. So let's make sure we have one of each of the gearboxes in stock, ready to go. We'll go outside the garage and we'll take a look at the quarter mile time. All right, so the first gearbox we're gonna try is the four speed. So the four speed gives us 9.00 for the quarter mile. So let's try the five speed now. Five speed. Five speed gives us 9.00, so that's the exact same. Let's try the six. All right, six speed, 8.90. So that's even better than the four and the five. So four and five is out. Six speed is the best so far. Let's try this seven. So many gearboxes for this car. Seven speed, 8.80. So that's uh, even better than the six. So now we've got the seven as the best one so far. We've got one more, it's the eight. Let's try the eight speed. Eight speed gives us 8.83. So actually the seven speed is the best option at an 8.80. So let's drop that seven speed back in it and we'll make a run. We'll make a pass down the, uh, the old drag strip behind this garage here. 8.80. So remember, you gotta have your downforce all the way down on a drag build. Helps you with your, your top speed and your quarter mile time. All right, the one thing I'm really actually afraid of is that the front end will pop up on this if we NOS off the start. So let's see what happens. We might need to uh, control it a little bit. We're gonna launch it at about 5,000 RPMs. Let's see here. Oh, a lot of torque steer. You gotta let it straighten out before you NOS, because once you NOS, you've got a wheelie, and you won't be able to steer. But man, this thing is fast. Full top speed before we hit that street. 232. 232 before we hit this, uh, this street, which is kind of like the unofficial ending of the drag race. This car is quick, man. This car is very, very fast. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. I'm anxious to see where it lines up uh, in terms of its ranking on all of our track, drag, and uh, off-road rankings. But I think this is it. This is the drag build right here. So let's go over it one more time just so everybody knows what it is. We've got that 3.6 liter flat six engine with all ultimate plus engine parts. Ultimate dual turbo, 
Ultimate 1x15 pound NOS, Super Track Suspension, Pro Brakes, Elite Drag Tires, Elite Plus Clutch, Elite 7 Speed Gearbox, and the Track Differential. Super Track Differential. As far as your auxiliaries go, you can use anything you'd like. I would go with uh, NOS Duration and uh, you know NOS Refills if you're racing. All right, let's move on to the drift build. All right, so this being a rear wheel drive car, we're gonna start off with my standard rear wheel drive drift setup for an automatic transmission. If you're shifting in manual, it will be a little bit different, um, but this is a really good place to start and then we can test it out and see how it feels and make some changes if we need to. My guess is because this has the same type of handling model as the RSR, it will be good with that rear wheel drive drift setup. So let's give it a try and uh, see how it goes. So first thing you want is the speed cross suspension. And then we're gonna go with the drag tires, which we already have. And as far as the differential goes, the pro drift differential. Let's take it out and slide it around. You know what? I just realized I forgot something. We need tire smoke. There we go. Much better. Oh my god, slidey. Whoa. I did not expect that. Right, let's adjust these live tuning settings real quick. Steering sensitivity up, down force all the way down. Drift style gas, always on my drift builds. Here we go. Oh, this car wants to slide for sure. That is hard to control. I gotta get used to this. That back end slides out crazy. And this... Oh my god. Seventy-three thousand, and that was actually a really kind of a terrible attempt. 89 is my high score. We might want to try to go for that high score. Let's see if I can get it together and stop running into stuff. And you really need to counter steer on this car. It just really wants to slide. Oh, I hit the wall. All right, let's try this again. It seems like the back end of the car is really heavy. But look at this. Just wants to slide all over the place. I can't even stay on the on the course. Oh, don't hit the wall. I missed the checkpoint. I'm already at 6. Look at my score. I'm already at 60,000. Like halfway through this drift. All right, let's try this. Try this one more time here. We don't have our multiplier, but we might still might still break it. Eighty-three. We didn't even have our multiplier. We got eighty-three. All right, I'm going back one more time. This thing's insane. Hard to control, but actually really good for scoring. Really, really good. Finally, traffic is clear. Oh, we almost get, we almost got it. We almost got it. Let's go. Keep going. Oh, 85. Oh my gosh, that was so close. 89. My best with this car, 85. I'm not going again, we're leaving it. This drift build is insane. It scores so high. It's very difficult to control. It takes a little bit of a throttle, throttle control in order to keep this car in the right position. And it's tough to avoid traffic. I don't think I'm going to get any better than this build. It is a little bit difficult to control but once you understand the handling mechanics of it, it actually is really, really good. This is an insane drift car. So far, this thing is really, really surprising. It is very good on the track. 
Uh, drag racing, it's decent. It doesn't have the greatest quarter mile, but it gets the top speed very, very fast. And then drifting, it's very good. This is a very high scoring drift car. I like it a lot. Well, let's go ahead and switch it over to the off-road build. But before we do that, let me show you the final drift build. All right, so we still have got the 3.6 liter flat six engine, ultimate plus engine parts with an ultimate dual turbo. Um, the NOS is not that important. I left it on one by 15, but it can be a three by five on uh, on your drift build as well. I don't use NOS when I'm drifting. Anyway, uh, as far as the suspension is concerned, we've got speed cross suspension, super. We've got pro brakes and the elite drag tires. We've got elite plus clutch, the elite seven speed gearbox and the pro drift differential. Make sure that your live tuning is set to max steering sensitivity and minimum downforce. So that's plus five steering sensitivity, minus five on the downforce. Traction control always off and drift style as gas. All right, let's take this thing off road. All right, here we are at HTV2. We're gonna run it on HTV2, we're gonna run it on Rumble, and then we'll see what its combined time is for this. And then we will rank it on track, drag, and off road. Show you those rankings and then we'll sum up the video. Oh my God, it slides so much. Does not want to re-grip. I think because of that, it's gonna run a fast time, but it's not gonna run a ridiculous time. That was a quick time, 150. This car is really fast off-road too. 150.41, where's that rank? All right, just on the time for HTV2 alone, puts it just outside the top five at like number six or number seven. Let's take it over to Rumble. Let's see what goes on there. Here we go, rumble test number one. Kind of a slow start. Its ability to pick up speed on the straights though is really good. Kind of an early break as well. To hit these turns, you're hand braking super early. See, I I waited too long on that one, slid out just a little, little too far. On these handbrake turns, though, it takes a while for that handbrake to catch on. So you're definitely gonna want to handbrake early. It clips a, a lot on that hill too. Not my favorite thing, but it is what it is. Many cars do. All right, here we go. Final lap. Let's race it clean. This feels like a really good time. Oh my gosh. That clip right there popped the whole front of the car up. All right, 313. Not bad, not bad. 313.22. All right, with that 313.22, this car is going to land in the top 10 for off-road, which is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and sum this video up and take a look at the ranks. All right, so I'm like really impressed with this car. This is definitely one of the most underrated cars in this game for sure. I know there are other YouTubers that have talked about this car, but I never really got the chance to try it out and see for myself. But this car is super underrated. It is very, very light. It has a ton of power for how light the car is. It does extremely well on the track. It keeps up with cars like 
the Evo 9. Um, the 4 GT was is definitely faster than this, but it's kind of close. You know, if you took this into a race with a 4 GT and you drove better, you can definitely win. Um, but it is it is definitely in the top 10 when it comes to track. It did very, very well on drift. It scores super high. And then it also does very, very well on off-road. The off-road rank um, is definitely top 10. I think it sits at like number nine. So that is really, really good for this car. The only thing that it, I would say, struggles a little bit with is traction. And so its quarter mile time is not that great. As a drag car, it sits somewhere in the middle to middle bottom-ish area of the uh, of the drag ranking. So this car is super surprising to me. It's very, very good. And and I love it. It's got that classic style, and uh, this is a this is a car that I'm going to be using definitely in online lobbies. And I recommend you definitely build this thing as a track car. It does very well. Just when you get used to the handling model, it becomes a lot easier to drive. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. My DMs are always open. And uh, shout out to all the militia subs. Thanks for watching another video. I'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.